All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, uh, coming at you with a fight review. So we're going to one championship, Masters of Fate in Manila, Philippines, in the one atom weight division, which is 115 pounds. We have Stamp Fairtex 2-0 and o, taking on B. Nguyen 5-4. and four. This will be the third, uh, only the third MMA fight of Stamp Fairtex's career. Uh, second one this year, and it will be the f third fight, MMA fight rather, of for B. Nguyen in one championship. She just signed a six fight uh, deal with them right before this fight got signed, I believe. Uh, looking at the stats, B is the older fighter, 30 years to, according to topology, Fairtex is 28. Uh, Fairtex will be the the taller fighter, 5'2", to only 4'11 for B. Nguyen. B. Nguyen is small, even by atom weight standards. Uh, you know, this fight, what this really breaks down to is you have a lifelong martial artist in Fairtex who has been competing basically since she was a child, and then you have uh, B. Nguyen who came to martial arts much later in life, got straight into mixed martial arts. Of course, Fairtex... She's been competing in Muay Thai since she was a child. She did take some time off from Muay Thai, if I remember correctly. Uh, because, well, in Muay Thai, if you're a female, there's, it's, once you reach a certain age, it's practically impossible for you to find matches, uh, at least in, in Thailand. So, um, But then she got hooked up with the Fairtex gym, and they... She started training for mixed martial arts as well. She got discovered by uh, Rich Franklin during his uh, One Warrior series. She actually made her MMA debut at One Warrior series. I believe it was number one or two. And then she went into uh, One Championship. And, you know, I've discussed this before. She made her, her debut in One Championship was kickboxing championship fight. Uh, she won that. She hasn't defended that since. Then her very next fight was for the brand new Muay Thai championship that they made basically for her. Uh, she fought for that, and then she, I believe she's defended it twice now. Uh, oh, she's defended it once. And then now she's uh, gone back to mixed martial arts because one championship really wants to push her. They're already pushing her as a two-sport uh, champion. They're hoping to be able to push her as a three-sport champion. So they hooked her up with Asha Roka, who was 4-0 and at the time, but hadn't fought MMA in at least two years. Uh, yeah, two years. Uh, Stamp dominated Asha Roka in that fight. Uh, finished her in the third round with rear naked choke. Uh, Nguyen, on the other hand, since going to one championship, she got a win over, uh, let me see who it was, Dwee Annie Retno Wulan, who was 1-0 and at the time. Uh, Nguyen was 4-3. and They actually signed Nguyen coming off a loss at King of the Cage. Um, then the very next fight, Nguyen lost a split decision to Bozena Antonia. And I just got finished watching that fight again. If I were a judge, I'd have scored it for... B. Nguyen, although I think a lot of the people that were crying, crying robbery were ignoring a lot of the body shots that uh, Antonia was landing. And then uh, for her third fight in one championship, Nguyen uh, took on Pooja Tomar in a Muay Thai bout in Vietnam. So now she's coming back to MMA as well. This fight, how it's going to come down to is... Is Stamp truly ready for a step up in competition as far as MMA is concerned? And is B. Nguyen truly a step up for her? Uh, as far as the striking goes, Stamp Fairtex is w miles beyond B. Nguyen. Now, B. has been training at Tiger Muay Thai in Thailand. Uh, it showed a lot in her fight against Antoniar. Her stand-up has come a long way. Um, but it's not going to compare to years and years and years, basically a lifetime 
of competing in Muay Thai. It's just not. Granted, this is mixed martial arts. However, one thing that B. Nguyen is going to have is more experience on the ground, um, more submission experience, more wrestling experience, which she seemed to forget about in her fight against Bozena Antoniar. You know, uh, B, after training for a while over at Tiger Muay Thai, she seemed to fall into that classic MMA trap in that you... You get better at one aspect, and then you fall in love with it. And even though you might be ahead on the uh, scorecards, you got to remember this is mixed martial arts. Don't just rely on winning one aspect of the game and thinking, "Well, I'll just I can definitely I'm definitely ahead now." Had she taken down Antony R at any time in that fight and applied some ground and pound, or went for a submission, she'd have won that fight. And then she didn't. So. Uh, if I were B. Nguyen, I would not try to stand up with Stamp Fairtex in this fight. I would try to take it to the ground. I wouldn't. Uh, Fairtex is probably going to be the stronger fighter, both the stand up, definitely, uh, the clinch, more than likely. Uh, she's definitely a better kicker. She's going to be the taller fighter. She's going to have more length, more reach. So if I were B. Nguyen, I'd seek to, where, to go where that's neutralized on the ground. She can get Stamp Fairtex down, put her on her back. She'd be the first fighter in MMA to do so. Of course, that's not saying much with only two fights on Fairtex's record. But she'd put Stamp Fairtex in a place where nobody's seen her before, on her back. Defending from guard, defending submissions, defending ground and pound. That's something nobody's bothered to do before. Um. So, as I was saying, this is sort of a test for Stamp Fairtex as far as MMA goes. The winner of this fight is likely going to be the next challenger for Angela Lee's uh, title, especially if it's Stamp Fairtex and she gives a strong showing. I don't necessarily agree with that decision, but it's basically already known pretty much. I mean, they've already talked about this being a title eliminator. Uh, and they're probably going to do it sooner than later because why put any more roadblocks in front of Fairtex when they're trying to promote her as an MMA fighter now? Um, if B. Nguyen wins, it'll be her dream. She's been wanting to fight Angela Lee for a long time, so that'll be good for her if she can get the win. And that's a big if. If I were B. Nguyen, I'd be looking for the finish from the start of this fight because she is going in there. I'd say she's already down on the scorecards if, if it were me. And that's not saying that there's unfairness or crookedness going on. I'm just saying that Stamp Fairtex is so heavily promoted by one, so heavily favored, that if I were B. Nguyen, I'd go in there with the mindset that it's either finish or loss. So, all right, so all that being said, who do I pick to win? I'm going to go with Stamp Fairtex. I think she's just going to be too strong in the stand-up and in the clinch. I think the smaller Nguyen is going to have a hard time taking her down. And I think most of the fight is going to stay in the stand-up. I think if, and to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised, though, if Stamp Fairtex took uh, B down, particularly using the Moist Thai style dump like uh, Luma Lukbunmi likes to do. So we're going to go with Stamp Fairtex, I'll, we'll say by decision. All right, so there you have it. That's my prediction for this fight, Stamp Fairtex by decision. Uh, let me know what you think about the fight in the comments down below, uh, who you're predicting. Uh, likes are always appreciated, of course, and hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, fastest-growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube, and hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time.